Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLE 7 which is all about 7 principles of hazard analysis critical control point. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 7. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. By the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to identify the seven principles of hazard analysis critical control point. The second one is to create a role play where a food business implements a food safety management system. And for the third one is to develop an appreciation for the importance of seven principles of hazard analysis critical control point by answering the reflection of questions. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will ask the following questions. Safety management system is a group of procedures and practices intended to prevent foodborne illness. It does this by actively controlling the rest and hazard throughout the flow of the food. A HACCP plan involves identifying hazards such as chemical, biological, and physical at specific points during food handling and identifying how they can be prevented, eliminated, or reduced to a safe level. There are seven sequential steps to developing a full HACCP plan. The first one is to analyze the hazards, identifies the potential hazard associated with food and the measures to control them. The hazard could be biological, such as a microbe, chemical, such as a pesticide, or physical, such as glass or metal fragments. The second step is to identify each critical control point. So the point in a food production from its raw state through processing to consuming by the consumer at which a potential hazard can be controlled or eliminated. For example, this includes the receiving, preparation, cooking, and cooling. The third step is to establish preventive measure with critical limits for each control point. An example of using cooked food might include setting the minimum cooking temperature and time required to ensure the elimination of any harmful microbes. The fourth step is to establish procedures to monitor each critical control point. Such procedures might include determining how and by whom cooking time and temperatures should be monitored. The fifth step is to establish corrective actions to be taken when monitoring shows that a critical limit has not been met, for example, reprocessing or disposing of food if the minimum cooking temperature is not met. The sixth step is to establish procedures to verify that the system is working properly. For example, testing time and temperature recording devices to verify that a cooking unit is working properly. The last step is to establish effective record keeping to document the HACCP system. This would include the records of hazards and their control methods, the monitoring of each critical control point, and the action taken to correct the potential problems.